Saints and martyrs Felicitas and Perpetua are perhaps one of the most famous female saints. Known for being martyrs, they suffered at Carthage, March 7, 203 together with three companions. The details of the martyrdom of these five confessors in the North African Church have reached us through a genuine, contemporary description, one of the most affecting accounts of the glorious warfare of Christian martyrdom in ancient times. By a rescript, all imperial subjects were forbidden under severe penalties to become Christians. In consequence of this decree, five catechumens at Carthage were seized and cast into prison. Those included are Perpetua, a young married lady of noble birth and the slave Felicitas. After their arrest, and before they were led away to prison, the five catechumens were baptized. The sufferings of the prison life, the attempts of Perpetua's friend to induce her to apostatize, the vicissitudes of the martyrs before their execution, the visions of Satyrus and Perpetua in their dungeons, were all faithfully committed to writing by the last two. Shortly after the death of the martyrs a zealous Christian added to this document an account of their execution. The darkness of their prison and the oppressive atmosphere seemed frightful to Perpetua, whose terror was increased by anxiety for her young child. Two deacons succeeded, by sufficiently bribing the jailer, in gaining admittance to the imprisoned Christians and alleviated somewhat their sufferings. Perpetua's mother also, and her brother, yet a catechumen, visited them. Her mother brought in her arms to Perpetua her little son, whom she was permitted to nurse and retain in prison with her. A vision, in which she saw herself ascending a ladder leading to green meadows, where a flock of sheep was browsing, assured her of her approaching martyrdom. A few days later Perpetua's friend, hearing a rumor that the trial of the imprisoned Christians would soon take place, again visited their dungeon and besought her, but Perpetua remained steadfast to her faith. The next day the trial of the six confessors took place before the procurator. All six resolutely confessed their Christian faith. Perpetua's friend, carrying her child in his arms, approached her again and attempted, for the last time, to induce her to apostatize. The procurator also remonstrated with her but in vain. She refused to sacrifice to the gods for the safety of the emperor. The procurator thereupon had the friend removed by force, on which occasion he was struck with a whip. The Christians were then condemned to be torn to pieces by wild beasts, for which they gave thanks to God. In a vision Perpetua saw her brother, who had died at the early age of seven, at first seeming to be sorrowful and in pain, but shortly thereafter happy and healthy. Another apparition, in which she saw herself fighting with a savage Ethiopian, whom she conquered, made it clear to her that she would not have to do battle with wild beasts but with the devil. Satyrus, who also wrote down his visions, saw himself and Perpetua transported by four angels, towards the east to a beautiful garden, where they met four other North African Christians who had suffered martyrdom during the same persecution. In the meanwhile the birthday festival of the emperor approached, on which occasion the condemned Christians were to fight with wild beasts in the military games. They were therefore transferred to the prison in the camp. The jailer had learnt to respect the confessors, and he permitted other Christians to visit them. Perpetua's friend was also admitted and made another fruitless attempt to pervert her. Secundulus, one of the confessors, died in prison. Felicitas, who at the time of her incarceration was with child, in the eighth month, was apprehensive that she would not be permitted to suffer martyrdom at the same time as the others, since the law forbade the execution of pregnant women. She prayed God to permit her to die with her companions. Happily, two days before the games she gave birth to a daughter, who was adopted by a Christian woman. On March 7, the five confessors were led into the amphitheater. At the demand of the pagan mob they were first scourged, 
Then a boar, a bear, and a leopard, were set at the men, and a wild cow at the women. Wounded by the wild animals, they were soon after put to the sword. Their bodies were interred at Carthage. Their feast day was solemnly commemorated even outside Africa. Thus under March 7, the names of Felicitas and Perpetua are entered in the Philokalian calendar, that is the calendar of martyrs venerated publicly in the 4th century at Rome. A magnificent basilica was afterwards erected over their tomb, the Basilica Marjorum. That the tomb was indeed in this basilica has lately been proved, as it was discovered there an ancient inscription bearing the names of the martyrs. The feast of these saints is still celebrated on March 7. Saint Felicitas, please pray for us. Saint Perpetua, please pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, please pray for us. O Mary, Queen of Heaven, please pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like this video and share this video with others. God bless you and have a great day.